good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. We are currently in New York City. I'm here with my husband, my son, <laughs> just waiting to go out, and my daughter who's currently doing her hair. We've already done one vlog, go back and check that. And today we are having, we haven't really got much planned. So we're gonna have like a mooch around. I were thinking of going to Grand Central Station, getting the underground to Brooklyn Bridge, going across there, maybe trying the Staten Island Ferry. So I will show you all the good things. If we pop into any shops, I'll show you because I know some of you are keen to see some of that. So come along with us for the adventure. I am wearing my favourite white woolly jumper and I said to Erin, if this ever gets ripped or ruined, I'll be roll aside. She's there. <laughs> oh, that. She's got, um, oh, oh there's a little bit of fancy. She's got like a, uh, like a juicy couture. Fake. Fake, like a foosy. <laughs> a foosy couture uh, tracksuit and she's going to wear, going to wear your gilet. Um, it's not the, it's not raining, but it's like slightly chilly, I would say, today. I've got leggings on. I've got one of my um, bralettes on because they're so comfy. Leggings, and I'm going to wear my trainers with, I don't know if you can see, I've got my big, I don't know if you can see that, my big fluffy socks. So let's get ready. Jet lag, the kids are pretty much over it now. They've been waking up about six, half six. I'm still waking up quite early, but I'm always the same. I'd have to be here a full month. Oh, but I said, yeah, I wake up early in England, so it's not really that much different. And Stephen's, I'm going to shame you, Stephen. Stephen's snoring in New York is another level. It's skyrocketed. It's so loud. I have no idea why. Because in England, he pretty much stopped. But here, it's maybe it's the food or you hear all the noise of the street. Right, L little look at the view. This is what the weather's like today. Uh, the clouds, you can see the clouds on top of the buildings. It's very high, we're 33 stories up. Can you hear all the, the New York sounds of fire engines and... We just, there's a fire engine over there. We're just around the corner from Times Square. Um, which is a very, very busy, so if you're not, if you don't, if you're not a busy kind of person, this is not the place for you. Maybe go and stay, stay a bit closer to Central Park. Um, but right, let's get ready for the day. We have come through the really busy Times Square section and we're walking down to the Rockefeller Centre. It is a bit chilly today, so put some gloves on. Ethan's got a little scarf on. And this is the NBC Studios. So we're just having a little walk around. But yes, if you don't like busy, I would not stay around Times Square. Grand Cent um, Central Park is much quieter. But it does have great stuff around Times Square. You know, you've got loads of, you know, all the shops you want. There's not far from a Target. But there's just nothing so exciting waking up on a day and knowing you're walking around. Oh, we're going in here, Jay. I don't think this is the bit where we want to be. So I was wrong. We're in the Rockefeller Center, top of the rock. You can go up to the top, which is really, really good. And um, we have done that before. We're not doing any high views. Shops downstairs, but basically the boys are continuously on the hunt for Prime. So we pop in here before we go to the train station. GNC, if you come to New York, GNC is where they're selling Prime at the moment. <laughs> yes, yes. So let's go down the stairs. Here we go guys, we didn't find Prime, but we found the Rockefeller Centre. This is where they do the ice skating at Christmas if you come. They have the big, beautiful massive Christmas tree here so it's very 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 pretty I'll just show you over there there you go look how beautiful it feels so Christmassy but it's not Christmas it's amazing we are just walking down Saks Fifth Avenue um, which is there. Uh, Tiffany's is around the corner. No, we're walking down Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue, the shop's there. But I just wanted to show you the quintessential smoke that you get in New York, which is um, sometimes, not gonna lie guys, smells a bit. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk down here. 
Saks Fifth Avenue there. Smoke. Stephen trying to find out where we're going. Do you know where we're going? I think it's down there. Do you know it's down there? We don't want to think. Come on then, guys, let's cross. I'm going to walk through the smoke. Guys, we're walking through the smoke. We're like carrying Sex in the City. Go and check out my Instagram if you haven't seen me being carrying from Sex in the City. Here we go, we're in a Grand Central Station. If I bend over there, actually, I actually think I'll probably just show you rather than bending over. It is absolutely beautiful. A bit different to our Grand Central. What's going Birmingham. Oh. <laughs> in Birmingham, it's called Grand Central where New Street Station is. Um, but I'll show you. Go look up. Look how beautiful it is there. And it's so clean. And then if you go downstairs, <laughs> stairs over there there's like a food concourse as well so it's pretty cool this little bit in the middle is in so many films Ethan this clock when they're like I'm gonna run away I'm gonna run away to New York and they get here and this clock's in it or in is in loads of films um, so we're now just working out what tube we take to Brooklyn Bridge and go across Brooklyn Bridge and get some Brooklyn pizza yeah baby we just come out of the underground. You can use your contactless now, so that's really good. You tap when you go through, and you don't have to tap out. You just walk out. But kids, unlike London, oh, I don't think, I think we have to cross over here. Unlike London, you have to tap out because it's different zones, but in New York, you just tap. You don't have to tap out, you just walk out. So, oh, well, we'll sort the gloves in a bit, don't worry getting a bit chilly we need to sort gloves and stuff out so we will walk across the Brooklyn Bridge hopefully it's gonna be not too bad because if you look up there it's very <laughs> can you see the buildings are so high they're in the clouds so hopefully it's not going to be too bad going across we're just sorting gloves out because it is a bit it's a bit chillier than I thought here we go it's very quiet isn't it so we're gonna walk across Stephen's got his new hat on give us a smile Thumbs up. <laughs> As you come on the bridge, there's loads of little stalls where you can get keychains and magnets for a dollar. But it's such good little presents. So I got this on Broadway. Ethan, got you got a New York magnet, did you? Yeah, And Erin got a mag uh, keychain for her and one for her friend as well. So that's just like super cheap little, cheap little keepsake, which is good for New York because nothing is cheap. <laughs> There we go, there's the view. Ethan's excited because he's seen hats. Here we go, we're on the Brooklyn Bridge, baby! It is beautiful. The traffic's there. Look at that view. Is that like not like being in a film, please? Here we go, right, let's walk across, walk a bit further. It's quite busy, it's not too busy. You can get photos if you wait long enough. And of course, it is free to walk across the Brooklyn Bridge, you don't have to pay. You just walk across because it's a bridge and I imagine doing it at night time would be phenomenal so I will show you when we get to the other end we are now in Brooklyn we're in Dumbo which has like pizza places and I'm just gonna walk around and go and show you the view from the other side if you have a little look up here you see there you go so Dumbo is what you it's in Brooklyn you walk across you can grab pizza. We just had um, pizza. I think four slices of pizza, four portions of fries. We didn't need four. We could probably done with two and four drinks. It was sixty dollars. So that's not too bad. We're gonna go and try and find the carousel. Yeah. Is it down there? You like it? Have a look. <laughs> Tweens for yeah. So yeah, it's very nice here, but it's a little bit chilly. Thankfully, we remembered their hats and gloves. Um, I did not remember my hat. I'm very tempted to buy one. I've got one back in the room though, which is annoying, but we're so far away. If we walked from here to, careful, careful. We walked from here back to our hotel, I think it'd be like two hours, so we won't be doing that. We've stopped at a park, but I don't know if you can see. Oh, I don't think you can see. In the middle of here, just there, is a bright red. I've never seen anything like it. A bright red bird. Can you see? Look there, look. What the heck is it? Look at that. I have never seen anything like that. And somebody's going to go, that is a very common, that's like an American pigeon. Can you see it, Erin? Look at that bird. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool. It's 
it. It is like a permanent, is it like a, I don't know, that is crazy. We have come to the Time Out Market, which is in Dumbo, and it's lots and lots of foods and bars. It's like an eatery, you can just go around and get a seat, pick what you want to eat. And we're on the hunt for some puddings, I think. We are now on the boat from Dumbo to, we're going to where are we going to? Wall Street. Wall Street. And then we're going to go from Wall, from Wall Street to get the Staten Island Ferry. And we'll show you the Statue of Liberty as we go past it. So this cost us $4 each. I think I did wrong. I think I should, I think I paid for four adults. Oh no, no, I think I did it a bit wrong. I'm an adult. So that's a bit, you, she's an adult even though she's 12. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. I wanted to go upstairs, but it seems that you, you're not allowed to. So hopefully on the other ones, we'll be able to get out and show you some stuff. So we're going to get a little boat. So today we've done walked, tube and a boat. We've got a train. No, what, how, what other transport have we done? We got a, we got a bus. bus yesterday. So we're doing all the transports. It's very exciting. Yes. my finger <laughs> just there is um the statue of liberty ladies and gentlemen look at that beautiful <laughs> It runs every half an hour, it's totally free. You go past the Statue of Liberty and it's got windows all down the side. I'm just, me and, when we can, can you go up? Oh, outside? Oh. You just is it, is it busy up there? No. Pardon? Oh, oh hang on, you'll go outside. Ah, that's what I was talking about. I didn't know if you could come outside, but you can, so we're out at the back. And that over there is the Statue of Liberty. These are seagulls. <laughs> anyway, the Staten Island Ferry is free to come on. Runs every half an hour, and you can just get it straight back or go and have a little look around the island. But yeah, the skyline is amazing. I'll show you a bit more what the boat's like when we get inside. So it's just a massive boat, there's windows all down the side, as I say it's free to go on, there's all different layers, it is quite busy, if you want to get a boat that's like 3 o'clock, make sure you're there about 22, quarter to 3, so you're near the front, um, but there's lots of seats, <laughs> I can't show too much because there's loads of people here, but um, this side, so as you, when you come on the right side, you go past the Statue of Liberty, so this side was quite busy, but now everyone's sat down. But yeah, well worth it if you fancy a free little boat ride. We are on the ferry on the way back. You can just literally jump off one and get one on the way back. And if you look just there, can you see Ethan, look? Everyone's, everyone's running to get out to take a boat out. There's the Statue of Liberty, just there. Here's uh, Stevens getting that shot. I let you can't. <laughs> every, every, they've just left your bag, Stephen. They've left your bag. Uh, your bag. <laughs> Evan's just run out to try and get a photo. There we go. There she is, the little Statue of Liberty. Oh, it's a lot, lot less on the way there. Everyone's like clambering up against the windows, but it's a bit calmer here. There we go. There she is. So we are off the Staten Island ferry, and what we're going to do is walk down, and we're going to get a subway from here to Times Square and then my friends I am going to finish this video I'm going to take you into Target I'm going to take you into Five Below I think what was the other one that was good around there <laughs> there's no Dollar Tree I might take you into um, one of the pharmacies but I'm going to take you to those shops and we'll have a little look around shall we see what we can get I'll just show you all the nice bits and bobs if you go back and watch the other video, I showed you some Ray Dunn stuff. So let's just have a little look and then I will also um, do a haul of bits and bobs that I've got, mainly snacks. I'm going to get some snacks today to take home. So let's get the underground and I'll, uh, I'll see you at Target. And Target 
is it's a new one in Times Square. It's just around, there never used to be one there and it was quite hard to get to a Target, so that was a joy when we found out there was a Target, wasn't it? Yeah, I've got like five. Things. We've seen lots of Ray Dunn, we've seen Prime, we've seen, um, what else have we seen that we wanted like treats and stuff? We have not seen any Stanley Cups. We've not seen any anywhere, have we? And we have, we have had a look. But I've got to walk downstairs now. Don't want to fall down them. Let's go. We have come into the Target. It has like quite a small clothing section, but a clothing section nonetheless. It's got a lot of springy summer stuff in, um, which is nice. I'm not really in the market for getting any clothes, but it has some, that's very cute. $28, some nice bits and bobs in. Some nice, that's a nice bag. $30, that's cute. I'm just not in the vibe. I can't believe I just said vibe, I sound so old. It's just a bit summery here, isn't it? And we're not, it's freezing outside. Jeans. When I go to Florida, I'll do like um, a try on video, I think. That's at the end, of, towards the end of summer. Some nice jeans. Oh, well, these are nice. That's cute, like a jumpsuit. And then we'll go over to the makeup. They've got all the makeups that you would expect. Let me have any recommendations of stuff below that I could get in America that I can't get at home. Because I would love to know. My girl was very excited. They have like a little miniature section over here. So you can get products that you like, but just in miniature versions. So that's similar to home, but at home, so this is $4.69, but at home you, could, you can get that for like £1.50. Oh, is that what you like, Erin? Sugar face scrub. Oh, but that's nice. $3.99. Erin likes this tree hut. Can I show them the one that I got? Sugar face scrub. Yeah, you can show the one you've got. She's just going to go and show, get the, the thing that she's got to show you. Uh, I bought one of these yesterday because they are just cute. My little boy's cut his nose in some one, so I've got this to clear up. She bought this, so this is Tree Hut Watermelon. I think it's on it's on Amazon, isn't it? Yeah. And it smells delightful, so we recommend that if you are coming to America this year. Do you want to go and pop that back for me, gorgeous? So this is just like a little miniature section if you want to try stuff. Um, not sure if I'm gonna get anything, but she's thrilled because obviously she's got like pocket money, not buying full size products stuff kind of money. So she can get the odd little thing. So that's good. Something we don't have in England, a lot of the products are behind, they're locked. So if you wanna get a product, you have to press a buzzer which will be somewhere then somebody comes down and gets it for you um, I don't not know if that's just in the New York City or if it's in all targets but this and also some of the sweets will probably be locked up as well the eternal hunt for the Stanley Cup continues they have not got any here I think it's just because it's a really small target I'm gonna try and go to like another TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something but no luck here we are at the sweet section. I've already grabbed some almond M&Ms for my friend. So they've got all the different types of M&Ms. So, oh, do you know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna go and pick up some Ghirardelli. That is what I'm going to go and get. I'm gonna get some Ghirardelli. Oh, yes, they've got mint. I'm gonna get some Ghirardelli. I don't know which ones to get. This reminds me of Disney so much. What Ghirardelli should I get, E? Maybe I should get like a, yeah, I've had that one. That one's really nice. Maybe I should get like a premium, like an assortment. That's I'm, milk caramel. The peppermint bark ones, the peppermint bark ones are the best ones. But that, I, I think that must be a Christmas one. I don't know whether to grab that. But dark chocolate, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I know. I love you, but not everything is for you. Some things I like, for me, I do like dark chocolate, yeah. I mean, actually, no, I don't like dark chocolate, but they're like after eight mints, I think. But they have the individual bars as well. Hmm. 
I like to have them for my hot chocolate stations and I'm not going to be doing a hot chocolate station for a while so I'm not sure I'll have a little think Airheads are our favourite and they didn't have them did they? We couldn't find them the other day and I love the Twizzlers as well but they don't have them here but I will get those from Minerva Shop so they've got big bags of sweets and all the good stuff oh we need to go and look at Oreos for Grandad yeah. let's go and look for some Oreos stocking up on our favourite crisps Lay's for I'm her favorite ones, I and I'm going to take these home with me and are you getting these? Yeah. And that, that is, that's a very big bag they're the best they are definitely the best do you think maybe we should see if there's smaller bags no. No. ok right well that'll last us um, we need to go and look for Oreos for Grandad Rog let's go right we've got to the Oreos it is two for eight dollars is that on all of them we're going to get Grandad he wants interesting flavours so we've gone for chocolate peanut butter pie and caramel coconut wouldn't like either of them I wouldn't but he might so put them in there we'll take them for Grandad Ethan has come in with the best discovery chocolate bunny ghirardellis yes please for my Easter hot chocolate station. Ethan wins the boys for the best child today. Because I was going to buy some Ghirardelli and I was like, oh, I don't think it's very seasonal, but look. See, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well done, Ethan. You literally win. Probably. Well, you win the prize of having me as your mother. So that's good. For any of the Easter little treats. They have this kind of stuff in uh, Five Below, don't they? So we'll go and look there. Right, let's go to the till, I think. I am 100% a diet drinker, apart from when I'm on holiday, and it's this all day, every day. It is phenomenal. What is it full of? I don't know, it's certainly not fruit. Hey, okay, we're in five below. I'll do a little voiceover in here, because as you can hear, J-Lo, I think it's J-Lo. Is it J-Lo? Who sings this? <laughs> is really blaring, so I'll do a little voiceover for you. Welcome to Five Below. So Five Below is, I would say, a kind of home bargains, poundland hybrid. And it's definitely a shop that you should visit when you're over in America, if you pop to Florida or if you ever get into the States, because it's a great little pocket money place if your kiddos want a treat. They have all sorts of things. So they have like blind boxes. And I think the premise is everything is five dollars or below but i think like poundland that's not always the case they had some really nice easter bits i loved the little baskets the star wars basket particularly made me happy and i love the little fun eggs they have they have this kind of stuff in dollar tree as well but let me know if you know a dollar tree in new york because we have, ne have never seen one so there's all sorts of baskets and little you know, the kind of things that you would find in home bargains, let's be honest. But I did like the Mickey Mouse Easter eggs and also I thought that the SpongeBob ones were really, really fun. $5 for 12 eggs and they had the little gummies in. They also have jelly bean versions of normal sweets. So like jelly bean starburst, jelly bean sour patch. So loads of loads of nice fun sweets. They had some really nice t-shirts in there and a little bit of fashion. There was a t-shirt that my girl liked, but I don't think it was in her size. Was it a California one or something at the bottom? But it wasn't in her size. But yeah, these are $5. And again, just a nice little tree. And there's some really nice patterns. I really like them. A lot of like MTV and 90s style things are in fashion at the moment, aren't they? So uh, grabbed. Go and grab some of them if you're there. Also, the homeware was really nice. We saw a couple of cushions that we liked, but obviously packing cushions and blankets to come home with probably not the best but um make sure you subscribe because we're actually redoing my daughter's bedroom a little mini makeover so we were looking at inspiration for stuff like that if you are a fan of squishmallows or you have a children that are fans of squishmallows they are very reasonably priced in five below and they have lots of fun ones and these are i think five dollars my kids have got these before but um, weren't quite so interested on this holiday, so they uh, they left them, they didn't want to spend their pocket money. Also, Americans, you flipping love St. Patrick's Day, don't you? You absolutely blooming love it. So much St. Patrick's stuff in every single shop we went into, I was overwhelmed. 
and my husband is Irish so I did pick up a few bits which I'll show in a haul in the next video. They also have some $1.50 uh, packs of sweets which I'm sure were a, do were a dollar before so and the Twizzlers but I want the big packs of Twizzlers I want the big packs of Twizzlers but we did get some of those later Erin wanted to show me Mentos <laughs> she was excited by those loads and loads of different types of sweets and all lots and lots of nice little treats which is very 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 exciting finally I saw these little cute little dog toys for Margot and I thought they were really fun little Easter toys and just you know it's just a great shop it's just a great kid shop and um, we just love it in there it's so much fun and finally I saw these baskets and I definitely would have got one of these if we were in England they're little baskets but they've got like crocs gibbet things on them so five below you are amazing now let's get back to the UK and I'll show you what the flipping heck I got I've come back in straight off the plane and I thought you know what I'm gonna show you the snacks these are the tired eyes of a woman who did an overnight flight um, it is currently half past two. The washing's on. <laughs> Look at me. The washing's on. Pajamas are on. Kids are upstairs chilling. Stephen's going to go and pick up the rats and the um, hamster. So I thought I would show you the snacks at the end of this vlog. And then in the next vlog, I'm going to do like an unpack with me. And I'll show you all the other bits and bobs. I've got a bit of uh, Bath and Body Works, some Ray Dunn, and some things. But I know you want to see the snacks that I got from Target and Five Below, so let's go. I just thought I'd show you these first. So this is what my mum loves, these Twizzlers. So I got these. Ha! <laughs> extra long, extra long Twizzlers. The dream. I did not get these for myself because I would eat these in two days. <laughs> and then my dad loves unusual Oreos, that's like his request. So we got him chocolate peanut butter pie. I'm not sure what that'll taste like. And also caramel coconuts. So he's got two of these. This and then a couple of them might be a bit smashed, but they seem to have done all right in the um in the case. So these were from Asda. Asda, what am I talking about? These are from Target, and this is actually from the Hershey's Times Square shop, which is, if you want to get Twizzlers or Jolly Ranchers or anything like that, the Hershey's Chocolate World has them for kind of like the cheapest, even cheaper than Target. So definitely go there. You think, oh, it's going to be a rip-off, like a big M&M shop, but it's not. It's quite good value for money. Actually, Stephen got his mum to thank her for looking after Margot, this little share pack miniature size which has got her she's in Reese's Pieces Kisses I don't know what that is Crayo I don't know what Crayo is never heard of that so yes that's what I've got my parents I'm gonna ship that off now these are more presents my sister doesn't eat sugar so I got her zero sugar Twizzlers and zero sugar Hershey's so she will really like those that was her request as well i think these are maybe three dollars each perhaps i think and then for my friend sarah every time i go to america i grab her a big pack of almond m ms because she's lovely and she loves them so that's for friends then for me Flame with hot Cheetos all day, every day, baby. I love these. I'm going to save these for a very special occasion. I don't know what that occasion is going to be, but I'm going to save it. I got some Peeps marshmallows because they've got bunnies in. And I might do a Easter hot chocolate station. I'm not sure yet. I might do. And if I do, I will pop those in. I think it's like $2 each. And they're very popular in America. They seem to have lots of, they're usually like little um, ducks. So I grabbed the, the yellow ones, thought they were cute. And then also some other Easter chocolate, um, which you would have seen in this video. I grabbed the Ghirardelli milk chocolate sea salt caramel bunnies. 
for if I do a hot chocolate station as well. Again, that'll be a really nice special treat. I love Ghirardelli. It really reminds me of Disney. Then, random. <laughs> this was from the Hershey shops. I don't even know why I got this. I wanted some chewing gum. And it was two for eight dollars. And these are massive. So I got a peppermint one. Whoops. Which I had whilst we were... Oh, there, there's still loads left. And then I've got strawberry lemonade. I might put that in my office. That was just a random purchase. And then some little chocolate bars and bits and bobs that we got. Stephen got himself some stuff. Again, these were from the Hershey shop. And they're, re they're quite reasonably priced. It's not that... It's really not that expensive. So I got a mink and dark chocolate Kit Kat. Uh, so that'll be a nice little treat to have. Stephen got the white one and I bought one of these and we had it in the airport, we shared it and it was so nice. I got myself a payday, I don't even know why, I think I panicked. I think it was three for two or something and I just panicked at the till. But again, this would be like a nice treat one, one weekend, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna have my payday. And Stephen got himself Caramello, milk, chocolate and creamy caramel, which I think you can get in England. And what on earth is this? Whatchamacallit, king size, made with chocolate peanut flavoured crisps and caramel. I presume they mean not like salt and vinegar crisps. Stephen of Mike, Mike and Ike, we bought some of these to eat in the theatre and we never ate them, so we just put those back. That'll be his little treat. Ethan, when we went to the mall, got himself with his pocket money to Feastables, Mr Beast bars. Mr. Beach Bar Crunch and Mr. Mr. Beast Bar Milk Chocolate. Interesting, made only five ingredients. What? What are the ingredients? Milk, sugar, sugar, more sugar, <laughs> probably. So they they will be just for him, and he will I think he wants some later. That was I, I said. Wait till we get home to England, you can have some. And then the last little things I bought for myself these. These are my favourite things, and I'm going to have to work out a way of rationing them. Twizzlers, sweet and sour, cherry, kick, citrus, but it's like a low-fat snack. It might be a low-fat snack, but it's full of flipping sugar. So <laughs> that is just like kind of a classic American thing to say. It's low-fat, look. Fat-free. It's healthy. No, it's not healthy. It's pure sugar. But these are my favourite, so I'm going to try and limit myself. And these are my favourite airheads. And Twizzlers are my favourites. So I'm going to work out a way to make them last a little bit longer. And then um, some other stuff over there, which I will pop in the next vlog. Oh, I suppose this is food related as well. There was a lot of Prime over there. So we did pick up a Prime. And um, Ethan wants it in his bedroom. So we bought it back for his bedroom. Um, I'm thinking of putting some little lights in or something, I've seen that. But then yeah, I've got some other bits and bobs that I will show you in the next video. So that is all the lovely snacks. So I can actually pop all this, pop all this away now um, and work out when I'm gonna treat myself to these little delights. I hope you enjoyed coming to New York with us. Sad, I'm sad I'm ending it looking the palest human being in the history of the world. Um, we had such an amazing, an amazing time. If you go to my Instagram, I did a highlight where I put loads of tips and stuff and other stuff that I didn't feature in these videos because I do find it quite hard to film when I'm with the children because I want to be like in the moment. So it, Instagram's just much quicker because I, I can just take photos during the day and then upload it later. So definitely go and check that out come back for my next video which is going to be like a chatty unpack with me and it'll be a haul of all the other stuff the Ray Dunn stuff the Bath and Body Works stuff so ah, that'll be exciting right guys if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up stick around and subscribe I would absolutely adore that lots more fun videos coming your way soon um, we're going to go to Costco home bargains look at all the Easter stuff I love you and I'm going to go I think I'm put a face mask on bye guys